Okay, so as you know, I, I try and make this room the 90s room with all the things that remind me of the 90s. And a big part of the 90s, of course, is 90s television. So I wanted to have a way to relive those 90s television days in my 90s room. So let me show you. As you can see here, I've got a 90s TV. And it's like a collection of videos I collected on the internet. So it's got like full blocks from Fox Kids. It's got SNCC. It's got The Simpsons and Home Improvement, a bunch of 90s shows that I can remember. Power Rangers is on here. And um, the way this works is there's a Raspberry Pi connected to this TV. And Raspberry Pis have the composite video out, which makes it perfect for a setup like this. And so the Raspberry Pi is running a Linux operating system and it has VLC installed. So VLC is configured to start when the desktop loads at every boot and it also plays a default um, playlist that has all the videos on the Raspberry Pi included but I went further than that even um, programmed in uh, a file in Linux called crontab is um, a schedule of different playlists so I have four playlists installed on this Raspberry Pi a morning playlist an afternoon playlist an evening playlist and a night playlist now why do I do that well because at different times in the 90s anyway different times of the day there were different things on the TV and you didn't just go through your streaming service and pick what you wanted to watch you watched whatever was on at that time of the day so I created these four different playlists that have shows that you would typically find within a certain uh, time of day so here's the part where we're going to show you how to make your own Raspberry Pi 90s TV uh, player so here we go guys all right so this is the Raspberry Pi desktop um, my cool wallpaper so the first thing you're gonna want to do is install VLC player uh, here's the command you'll copy and paste this or um, type this into the command prompt so type that into the command prompt sudo apt git install vlc and it'll install vlc for me i already have it so it's not going to install it but for you it will okay so the next step is to configure vlc to start up when um the raspberry pi boots so we're going to go to the file explorer and we're going to look for a uh you may have to go to view yeah show hidden here and under view so that you can find uh, the config.config .config folder right there under pi, under home, pi.config, find that. You're looking for a folder called auto start. So in order to get VLC to, to boot, go to the Raspberry Pi start menu up here in the top left, find sound and video and you'll see VLC player there. You can drag and drop that into the auto start. Um, I already have it, so I'm not going to override it, but it'll place the little icon right there. We'll get to this second part in a second, but here's a little preview. Go to Properties, and um, you go to Desktop Entry here, and you can edit the command. You can see I have it to start a playlist once it boots, so we got to make this playlist first. So let's do that next. Um, so we'll open VLC Player. In order to make a playlist, you just add files here. So you can right-click and say Add Directory. Um, you will want to have copied video files to your uh, Raspberry Pi SD card. So I've got some video files already under videos and 90s shows. And um, I've got videos divided into different um, times of the day. So I make a bunch of different playlists. But um, for this one, just to make a playlist, because this playlist is going to start every time the Raspberry Pi boots. So you want it to be a generic playlist because it may, if you have to reboot your Raspberry Pi, it may not correspond to a certain part of the day. So what I did is I just put every single video into that playlist and added it. Um, but for the sake of this demonstration, I'm just going to do the one here. So I'm going to hit, I'm going to select it. I'm going to hit choose right here. And then that added it to my playlist. So here it is. Here's all the videos. Oh, <laughs> auto starts. Here's all the videos. Uh, in the playlist. So we're going to hit uh, file, go to save playlist to file. Um, I saved all of mine to uh, pi 
and here are my playlists. So the one that I, the generic one that I created for startup is called 90s Shows. Now you can name it anything you want, but that's what I named it. Uh, just name it, hit enter, and then that file will be created. So if we go to our file explorer, we can see that it's there. Um, here are all the playlist files I created. See, morning, evening, night, afternoon, 90s shows will be right there. So they all exist on the SD card. All right. Next, uh, we're going to do some tweaks to VLC settings. So go to Tools and Preferences. And a few things we want to do here is um, uh, we want to integrate integrate videos and interface. Um, what else is important? We want to enable, we want to display full screen here. Okay. Um, force aspect ratio. Well, this depends. Now, in my situation, I'm playing it on a CRT TV. So I force aspect ratio to 4.3, but uh, depending on your situation, you may change that to something else. I turn the OSD off here because I don't want the file to show every time the video changes. It kind of breaks the immersion. So I, I turned off the OSD, so I don't have any of that. Uh, the next thing you want to do is go to view and check always on top. That's why I had to move my window every time I looked at the playlist and the other files. Um, but that helps in case uh, something pops up unexpectedly in front of your video. It won't cover the video. So always on top is important. Next is back to the shortcut under startup in configs. So con dot config, auto start. So right click and go to properties. Hit this desktop entry tab. Um, I believe the shortcut will be everything before this. So it's the command to launch it. Uh, plus this started from file. I'm not sure what that is, but just leave it there. Uh, it works for me, I guess. But after that, you want to type in the path and file name to the playlist, the generic playlist that you made. So in my situation, it was at slash home slash pi, and the file name was 90 shows XFPF. So that's it. Every time the Raspberry Pi boots, it's going to launch VLC in full screen, and it's going to start playing this playlist. Booyah. Next is the more complicated part. You ready? Now we're going to do the part where uh, the Raspberry Pi will automatically change its playlist depending on the time of day. And I do this using something called a cron tab file. Um, I'm not going to pretend to know everything about cron tab files. I'm going to show you the settings that uh, I used and then tell you how you can change them to suit, suit your needs. Okay. The first thing you want to do is make sure you create all of your playlists. So just like we created that first one, create as many playlists as you want. Like I said before, I have night, morning, evening, and afternoon playlists. So now that we have all of our playlists, we're going to open up the terminal and we're going to type this cron tab space dash e. So basically this is going to create a new cron tab file and it's going to open up a window that looks like this. Uh, it'll be empty for you, but if you scroll down to the bottom, there'll be some empty spaces. Uh, let me delete this just some notes there. Okay, what do we have here? Let's uh, let's look at this. So I have I have four commands here. The way this works is the crontab file will launch each of these commands at a specific time. The time is indicated by these first few lines here. The first numbers are the minutes of the hour. The second number is the hour. And they kind of tell you here, mh dom mon dao command day of the month, and month, and day of the week. So the way I have it is, um, I wanted mine to be every day, so the star is a wild card. So um, when it does uh, day of the month, it'll be any day of the month, uh, any month, and any day of the week. That's what these three stars is. These first two numbers are the time of the hour. So I have it at 5 a.m. and 59 minutes. Now, the reason I did that is I couldn't do five clock even. I couldn't put zeros here. And if I had zeros here, the command wouldn't work for me. So if I wanted something, or 6 a.m., if I wanted it to play at 6 a.m., if I put six and two zeros for the minute, the command would not launch. And I don't know why. Two zeros or even one zero didn't work. But starting at a minute early at 5.59 a.m. works perfectly. Now what's this kill all part? Kill all VLC. So I had to do that because if you don't do that, 
Uh, VLC will open a second player when the next playlist time comes up. So it'll be playing morning playlist, and then at 11.59 a.m., it'll open up the afternoon playlist, but the morning playlist continues to play in the background. We don't want that. So this kill all command will kill the current instance of VLC and then launch the playlist right after. Display 00, zero I believe I needed to have this in there so that VLC would play on my display and not just invisibly in a terminal, which I think is what it does if you don't put that in there. After the display command, it's the command of the app we want to launch right here, VLC, and then a space, and then the path to the playlist that we want to launch. Okay, so in summary, I have morning playlist playing at 5.59 a.m. on any day of the month, any month, and any day of the week. Afternoon playlist plays at 11.59 a.m. And same deal. Evening playlist plays at 3.29 p.m. And the night playlist plays at 7.59 p.m. Once you have all these commands in the way you want, you want to hit Control X to save it. Control X. Say yes. Don't be alarmed when you see this temporary directory. It confused me at first too, but just hit enter. And then you'll see a command that says cron tab installing new cron tab. And if it says that, you're done. You don't even need to reboot. That's it. Now you have a perfectly working VLC uh, player that plays your 90s TV shows. Here's some bonus content. If you want to create a keyboard shortcut that goes directly to any playlist you want, first thing you want to do is create a script that will run as a keyboard shortcut. And we're going to go, you got to go pseudo nano because nano is the name of the um, editing program that we're going to use. So I messed up. All right, there we go. Pseudo nano channel two. Sh. Okay. Now here's the channel one script that I wrote. And it's basically a list of commands that would be in the terminal. So the first thing I want to do is kill all VLC in case it's already playing. I don't want to open up a second uh, window. I sleep for one second just to give the program time to close. And then I execute the command that's going to correspond with the keyboard shortcut that I want. In this case, it's VLC plus the path to the playlist that I want to play. And then next we're going to create the shortcut. Enter this command in the terminal and hit enter. Now you'll want to scroll down until you find the keyboard shortcut section. All right, keybinds. So you'll see the section that says keyboard, keybinds. You'll see I created one here, right here. So you'll want to basically copy this. You can hit enter here and uh, move those back over. I don't think that spacing matters. It's just for human eyeballs. But you can start a new section. I'm going to create a new one, and it's going to say, you got to copy what's what's uh, next. you got to copy the one that's already exists. So what's important is this key bind, the start of the command key bind, and then this slash indicates the end of the command. So you want to copy everything between these two sections, the key bind and slash key bind. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to go keybind key equals and then a key that you want. Uh, the F keys didn't seem to be configured for anything else on the Raspberry Pi. So I use the F keys. So I'm going to say F2 is my next key. And then we got to do the action, action, name. The, the name isn't anything you want. As a, I found out there's actually a list of, of named commands you have to use. So we, in this case, we want to use execute because we're going to execute VLC. Uh, close that up. And then the command we want to use, command. And then uh, we want to, the command, we want to run the, um, the script that we created. We want to run that. So the script is located at home slash pi slash channel. Oops channel one, well, channel two dot sh, close that up. And then uh, the last thing is we're gonna close up the keyboard command, the key binding, and go key bind, and close that up, and that's it, we're done. We gotta close the action too. The action, action Jackson. We gotta close the action. Action. Okay. 
So as long as it looks just like the one that came after it, we're good. And now, if you save this and uh, reboot, uh, the next time you're in uh, Raspberry Pi, the F2 key will launch this command, and you're good to go. All right, well, there you go. Go go forth and create your own 90s TV channel and have fun with that. And make sure you uh, write in the comments what kind of TV shows you put on your playlist. I'd really be interested in knowing what kind of shows you use. Because um, I might add to my own because I need to need to beef up my collection of TV shows. Anyway, yeah, be sure and like, us, like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, please. And you'll get more content just like that. And go check out the um, how to install AOL Instant Messenger in 2022 video in my uh, collection of videos that I made. Uh, last year, obviously. And check out all my other videos, retro pickups, all kinds of cool stuff. Alright, thanks guys. See you next time.